Today, we're jumping in with a Red Dead Online change that seems to signify Rockstar's growing disdain for a certain method of money making, and I'll also be explaining in full detail how you can avoid running into this problem yourself while hopefully saving you from lost time, money, and extreme disappointment. We're talking legendary animals today, and how Red Dead Online is seemingly ruining these animals, so this video serves as a major warning to all players. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video, and if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with the best Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online content, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So when the Naturalist update was added into Red Dead Online, it was quickly adopted by the broader community as a fun new role to try out in Red Dead, but it also came with some serious money-making potential if you knew how the role worked and how to maximize the efficiency of your playtime within that specific role. While you could take samples of animals and eventually trade in a package of sample stamps to harry it for some major rewards, similar to collection sets and selling those to Madame Nazar, the real money making here comes from actually taking the animal down and either skinning it and selling pelts, or what I would personally recommend here, using the entire carcass as a donation to Crips for your trader role. These animals yield unbelievable amounts of materials, and while it doesn't actually speed up the trader productions themselves, it does free up so much of the time you would need to spend hunting normal animals to get the same amount of materials donated. One of the strategies here is when you find a legendary animal in the free roam, while those do yield less materials than the ones you can hunt on the sighting missions for Harriet, they are still worth your time, and when you find one, you should kill it and take it back to camp at your earliest convenience. But here is where the new change has players upset, and for some who are currently unaware, very confused. To get even more money from legendary animals, you can double up these strategies for extra money making by first sampling the free roam legendary animal, then killing it, and then bringing its entire carcass back to Crips to donate it. This was the ultimate way to maximize naturalist role efficiency, besides actually doing the sighting missions themselves for Harriet, and it's worked since the end of July when the naturalist update released, but as some of you may know, it does not work anymore if you go about the process in certain ways. Some players who would sample and kill these animals would put the legendary animal on the back of their horse and use a nearby fast travel post to bring it back to their camp, and then they would immediately donate this carcass, but it appears that when you do this, the game actually skins the animal and the only option you'll have after that is to sell this newly skinned pelt to the butcher for a little bit of cash. So for anyone wondering why it doesn't work anymore when they sample and kill a legendary animal and then fast travel back to camp to donate it, using any sort of fast travel feature in any town is the reason why. So once you know what causes this problem, it's avoidable of course, and you can either just run back to camp yourself or move it closer to you, although that's something I personally wouldn't recommend just because you may be giving up a really good camp spot, for example, not the biggest thing, but just something I wouldn't recommend you do. But the other alternative here is to continue using your hunting wagon and just throw your newly sampled carcass in there to protect it so it doesn't accidentally get skinned if you fast travel from somewhere with the carcass on the back of your horse or if you end up disconnecting because as you all know that's what also causes your pelts or even your carcasses to disappear off the back of your horse now this change that we're talking about in this video is seen by most of us i think to be a totally unnecessary change you know why purposely skin a player's fresh legendary animal they were trying to donate all i can really think of here is rockstar actually trying to slow players down with their money making sort of like how your trader and moonshiner roles aren't producing goods while you're running a legendary bounty or an online story mission but i could actually see this being just sort of some random bug for a few reasons here as well for one there was no update to have made this specific of a change recently although i do have some news on something upcoming we can talk about in a future video but that's beside the point and then the other fact is that going about this any other way actually changes the results of what happens. For example, using a normal fast travel with an animal that you sedated, sampled, and then killed will cause it to become skinned when you arrive back at your camp. However, if you use the new wilderness fast travel feature so you can literally fast travel back to camp on the spot and don't need to run to town for the fast travel post, this will cause your newly sampled and killed legendary animal to completely disappear. It doesn't line up. Normal fast travel causes the legendary animal to become skinned, and the wilderness camp fast travel causes the animal to get completely deleted. This was mentioned by Austin BMX as well, who has a good video on these tests too, and he was basically saying how you can get the same results from legendaries no matter if you're a solo player, or if you're playing with a posse, or if you're even in a solo session trying this out. 
these two results are consistent and I'm not sure if we're going to see a change to this anytime soon. So to be safe, like I said before, either run back to camp yourself or just throw this animal in your hunting wagon for later. And then remember to donate the animal the next time you're back at camp when you're going back for supplies or your camp stew or something like that. However, if these changes are intentional, why does Rockstar hate this method of additional money making through legendary animals? They didn't have an issue with this for half a year, just like how they didn't see a problem with players using the Gene Rocky map to farm full collection sets on the daily until the Moonshiners update, months after the collector role was added with Frontier Pursuits, and then all they did was just add more days to the cycle, which eventually were figured out within two weeks again, and then they changed it again with the Naturalist update where Rockstar really tried to nerf the collector role by randomizing diggable item spawns so only non-diggables could be farmed for a full collection set every single day. Are we seeing one of those changes right now? an intentional change on Rockstar's part that's meant to slow a player down. However trivial it is to fast travel with a freshly skinned legendary animal, this also doesn't happen with normal animals, and I wanted to make that point that normal animals still work as intended here, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's a specific high value species which we could see these issues with, like the ultra rare panthers or most of the cougars you find across the map, but I'm pretty confident it is just legendary animals for now. I'm just really confused on this major change to our free roam grind here in Red Dead Online and I wanted to bring this video to you all to hopefully serve as a warning to you so you know one, how to avoid it and so you don't get disappointed if it happens to you and you have no idea why. But what are your thoughts? I think we'll be wrapping up the video right here, so if you have any other research you've done yourself or if you have other evidence of other major problems like this here in game, then please let me know down in the comment section. I know we all have the Bounty Hunter expansion bugs and glitches that need to get sorted, but if you have any intel on like brand new problems that have started to occur consistently maybe over the past week or so for you, I'd love to hear what you have to say. With all that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any single question on there you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media including my discord can be found in the description down below if you're looking for gamers to help you out on your trader or your moonshiner cells or go collecting with the discord is a great spot we have over 8500 active members on the discord like i said you can meet up with some friends find some friends on there just chat with people about red dead online or other things you're interested in so with all that said thank you so much for watching hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video. Adios amigos.